Hello, everybody. I'm Axel Gear. I almost said Ness. And this is Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we got here to Tucson and found out that our friend Annie is kidnapped in the Peaceful Rest Valley. In this episode, we're gonna go shopping. Because I'm sure she'll be fine. So this is the department store. They have a bakery and a hamburger shop. I mean, you can skip sandwich. It makes me want to start skipping. Skip sandwiches actually do make you move faster. But I'm gonna buy a lucky sandwich. One lucky sandwich. Because I need- I remember, I need $200 to give to Apple Kid. Up at the top is the general store. Where you can buy... Weapons. I'm gonna buy a slingshot. It's- pr it's stronger than a t-ball bat, but... It's- it's much less accurate. Excuse me. Um. You know what? Just to ward off homesickness. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part time for S Cargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. Call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is S Cargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? You want us to store something for you? We'll send someone over immediately pick it up. <laughs> right. So, this is a way to store items you no longer need. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Yeah. What do you want me to take? I can take up with the three things. Uh... Oh, I see. Please try again. Yeah, if you don't give any... You know, if you don't give him anything, then he doesn't... Then he doesn't take the $18 cover charge. Before I forget... Let's go give the money to Apple Kid. Uh, thought it went in the door. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, oh, excuse me, I mean, thank you! Here you go. I won't let you down. And then the mouse blocks the way. I am a mouse, no one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. He gives the receiver phone. I forgot this actually happened. Apple Kid's invention. Now you can receive important calls. You can't make any, but... Hey, but you can receive calls. Okay, now I still have uh, about a hundred dollars to spend. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. When you get, whenever you eat some, the seasonals will sprinkle automatically, man. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like, man? Yeah, this is an interesting uh, mechanic. Condiments. If you put, if you're holding food and a condiment, you'll put, you'll automatically put the condiment on the food. And, uh, it'll work better. Um, not really sure. Not really sure of much. I don't know a whole lot about condiments. I've never really used them. I own an antique shop. 
no one's buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98, please buy it. Ow! Hey man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively, man! Come on, buy some of my junk, man! He's got... Thrust Promoter, a travel charm. I'll take the travel charm. Man, this guy's like a shy guy. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? No! Would you like some bananas? Okay. Uh, the travel charm protects you from paralysis, which is very good. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful, beautiful egg, please. I don't have... Of course, Everdry isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. If you say so, Mr. T. Come on, you gotta believe anything Mr. T says. So, uh, now let's go out to, uh, Peaceful Rest Valley. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> what does this sign say? If you have time to read this, go to the Chaos Theater immediately. Okay. I love staying in queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. I had some connections I can waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by the theorem, we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house at the preschool is the talk to the town. I want to see her someday. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway Five's night. I guess I lost my tickets, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. You want to see you the manager? Let's take it. Let's have a chat with the manager. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> How deep in debt are we talking? Okay, enough screwing around. We have to go to Peaceful Rest Valley and save Annie. If I can remember where the hell Peaceful Rest Valley is. Right, it's... This way. There's always these long walkways. Peaceful Rest Valley ahead, proceed through cave. Hello! Mobile Sprout and a Rambling Evil Mushroom. And I'm hurt. Because I forgot to go to the... Yeah, Mobile Sprout can drain your psychic point. And, uh, I feel strange. Don't. Uh, what? There's a mushroom on my head. No. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no! Damn it! Medic! 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 Yeah. That's how TF2 goes. Oh, pizza! Pizza, pizza! Welcome to Mock Pizza! We don't sell pizza here, we only deliver. The best pizza is Mock Pizza. The number is... You got that? Right, so now I know the number for Mock Pizza. Now I can order a pizza from the phone, and they'll deliver it to wherever I am. Uh, uh. The controls are now screwed up. I'm pressing down. Okay, uh. Where's the... Hospital's way up friggin' north. Ah, now my controls are reversed! No! I'm not busy right now, shall I explain? Yes! Uh, sir? Can you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? FIFTY BUCKS! <laughs> yeah, he pays you 50 bucks if you bring him, uh... If you go to him when any, anyone in your party's feeling strange. Has a mushroom on their sprite. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. The one night stay will cost you fifty dollars. Doing it. Ness, I, Annie, I am Annie. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me. I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please, help me! Annie, I'm coming to rescue you! Newspaper... The brave local hero named Ness, who broke up the sharks, has left one at. Reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have been proven to be false. Heh <laughs> Take that, Perkle! Okay, I'm just gonna... Hang on. What's my inventory look like? Yeah, I got plenty of stuff. I'm gonna deposit all my money, though. I don't know why I left. I thought my controls were still screwed up for some reason. No, I don't want to withdraw! Eh. Deposit. Forty-one dollars. Uh, Annie! Where are you? Uh, that's Annie's dad. Bicycle, bicycle! By the way, pressing... Oh, pressing L button automatically, uh, checks in front of you. And why did I eat the banana? I thought that said bicycle, I think. Pressing R button rings the bell. I love the look on Ness's face. So happy. No, what? Annoying old party man. Unbelievable. 
He's gonna have a headache when he wakes up, and not from a hangover. Just a mobile sprout. Oh, come on! Don't clone yourself, dude. There we go. Let me heal myself. There we go. Ah! There's two of them. My phone is ringing. I am purposefully ignoring it. If I go and answer the stupid phone, it's gonna screw up the recording. Oh, come on! Yeah, there's approximately a 1 in 8 chance of missing. Yeah! Oh yeah, Paralysis Alpha! You did the high! <laughs> Take that. Stupid mobile sprouts. I swear half this I swear half this series is going to be me fighting the same enemy over and over and over and over. I refuse to edit. I refuse to edit for my first project. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a regular mole. Okay. This is the peaceful rest valley. Cross bridge to happy happy village. Hello over there, sir. What happened to the bridge? I got to go around. Hopefully there's another way. Uh What the for some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Okay. Guess I can't go that way. Oh crap! Little UFO! <laughs> Little UFOs can be pretty tough. Especially since they can dodge. Like that. I think that's the first time the enemy's ever dodged an attack. Uh, um, 
Well, guess we're going back to town. You again. Damn it! I missed. Haha! -ha! You suck! Freaking! Ah! No! For the love of Princess Celestia! Enough with the Mobile Sprouts game! <sighs> no! I was gonna... Friggin... No, oh, dude, come on! Lucky sandwich. Friggin... <sighs> Hope this restores psychic points. Just HP. Ah! <sighs> Eat my other lucky sandwich. My luck sucks. I refuse to edit out any content. I'm going to keep the fight like this. Just auto fight. So I can just like... <sighs> God. You think that you think that I have this game illegally or something? Funny story. Hey, funny thing, the anti-piracy, the anti-piracy measures in this game are devious. I I need something to talk about while while the game's auto fighting. Okay. Okay, here's how it goes. Firstly, it checks to see if the game's being played on a, a on a PAL console. Then the game and then the game will simply display this game is not designed for your Super Famicom or Super NES and E. I should probably eat something. Turn off auto. How I turn off auto? I don't know how to turn off auto fight. How I turn off auto fight? I paused the. Uh, I think I've screwed up something. No, I just paused it, and I'm dead. Well, ah, <sighs> <sighs> well. Anyways, secondly, after it'll, after the PAL console check, then it it spawned me all the way back. In <sighs> I have to finish my story, but after that, this is this episode's over. Sheesh! What a terrible episode. The second the second measure, it checks to see if your cartridge has less than eight kilobytes of SRAM. If it has more than 8 kilobytes of SRAM, the game will display an anti-piracy screen. In reading, it is a serious crime to copy video games according to copyright law. Thirdly, if you pass this screen up, the game will display many more random enemies in, a, in, able, in an attempt to uh, make the game much less enjoyable. And so, and in some cases, it, the, the game could become unplayable. There are so many encounters. If somebody, additionally entering certain areas, such as the tunnel between Tucson and the next town, Threed, would freeze the game. If you manage to make it through the through the much harder version of the game, during the final boss fight, the game freezes, and you have to reset. And when you reset, that your save is deleted. 
your entire save is completely deleted. That's completely devious. Uh, excuse me, mother. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode of of Let's Play Earth. Ba Whoa! Oh. I thought I had a thousand dollars there. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. God, what a terrible episode. <sighs> Unbelievable. I'm gonna have to go all the way. Oh, crap, I forgot to turn off the recording. <laughs>